and well-known faces, it uh, feels like coming home. And, uh, you know, with all the turmoil in this world, in Americas, in Asia, but also in Europe, uh, India feels like a safe haven and it's good to be here again. Within the next 30 minutes, I'd like to share with you uh, my view of uh, what is impacting the global paper industry, share with you what is uh, going on in the regions, and also hopefully give you some inspiration uh, what could help uh, us all together to develop this industry further. Uh, whatever I say is not based only on my own thoughts. Just eight weeks ago I met with um, the American, North American CEOs at the AFPA in Dallas, Texas, um, and uh, exchanged some uh, information there. I, four weeks ago I was in Brussels with the European CEOs, and uh, once in a while I also talked to the guys in China and South America. So uh, it is not only my own uh, information which I'm sharing here. Whatever I say will be straightforward, I hope I don't insult you, and you just take what you feel fits into your world and into your mindset. Okay, let's go from here. What are the, the trends? What is going on globally? Global warming is a fact. And the, the people in the emerging countries will suffer the most. If we don't cut energy consumption, and if we don't change to renewable energy generation, we'll have a problem. When I listen to uh, the authorities in North America, but also in Europe, they are thinking of cutting carbon dioxide emissions in the paper industry uh, to 50% in 2030. And uh, 2030 is not long away, it's 10 years basically. So if, you, if we have to cut by 50%, then the, te the technology to do that should be here very quick. And, uh, and those guys are very serious. They consider paper as a heavy carbon industry. They want to shift it to a low carbon industry. And I believe that is going to be a huge challenge for the global industry. If I look into China, it is very difficult to get uh, a permission for a coal-fired boiler nowadays. Uh, and I see same, the same trend in Europe. Uh, so there will, be, there will be pressure on us and we have to react, we have to move, we have to bring the energy consumption of paper making down. Plastic is polluting our planet. It is a big problem, and if I listen to my children, they are still small, you know. Uh, if they see plastic, if they hear plastic, they say, whoa, let's get rid of it. If you listen to, uh, or I mean many countries are really ahead, African countries, China, but also uh, India, some states in India have banned plastic already. The European Union is just about banning single-use plastic applications. And uh, I believe this is great, and I believe this is a great opportunity for paper. There is a window opening up for us, but we have to use the time and come in with paper applications very quickly and in a sustainable way. Uh, so I believe that is a great opportunity. Based on today's consumption pattern, by 2030, we would require two times this planet if we continue to con consume as we do today. By 2050, we would require five times this planet. So there is no way around that we are more efficient in using materials and uh, recycling has to become more prominent. And I believe the paper industry is a great example here because in the paper industry, it was shown in the video, recycling is a, a normal uh, raw material channel. And uh, this will become, again, a very, very important topic also for other materials. Up to now, we were used to use goods personally for ourselves. The younger generations, I believe, have a totally different attitude, and they get used to sharing goods. If you look at Uber, if you look at uh, Airbnb, car to go you don't need those goods on a personal basis anymore. We can share them. Uh, and as I said, younger generations are very open to that. Uh, I believe many people more and more are open to that. And that might have an impact 
on many businesses, on many industries today, and I guess we have to think what that exactly means for us, for the paper industry. Could be a threat, could be an opportunity, but it will come.